Meyer, we versus Geki Noki OJ, aka Attack on Titan, episode 11. So let's get into this. So this week's episode of Attack on Titan. This was a good episode this week. You know, freaking Commander picks this man. Like last episode, he was pretty cool. You know, I, I was like, I'm, like, I'm liking him, I'm liking him. But this episode right here, he just turns into a beast, man. He's just like, it's, it's so epic. Like his speech was so good. His speech was so good. I got, I got, I got motivated. I was like. Time to kill some titans. Let's go. Let's go, people. Like I was ready, man. I was I was getting ready because that, that speech was great. It was a great speech, very motivating and everything. So I mean, I, I, Commander picks his beast. He, he he's doing his thing. And at the end of this episode as well, <sighs> I guess I'm a little right on this. I was wondering if Aaron can actually control a control his titan form or not. It doesn't look like he can. And you know, kind of makes it kind of makes Fallman kind of right too, Commander Fallman. So I'm, I'm just saying, like, he makes him kind of right to why he was scared of Aaron. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> but uh, really, what was going on with this episode really was the first part of this was like um, a bunch of soldiers like uh, down there and everything, waiting for Commander Pix's orders and stuff like that. What they needed to do and everything. Though they kind of already knew what they kind of needed to do was basically Aaron's gonna be going into his tight mode, getting up a freaking rock, and so then they um, put that rock in that area to block that hole in the gate. And while that's all going on, there's going to be a Elite Force and there's going to be a Decoy Group. A Decoy Group, of course, you know, they're decoys. They have to make this other Titans go towards them so they won't mess with Aaron while they're doing this mission. But there are other Titans around. That's why they got the Elite Force there to be able to protect Aaron from these Titans. And so the thing is, some of those group people, well, one guy in particular was just, like, really, really scared. It's like, oh, I don't, this just seems so uncertain. Like, how can Aaron turn to a Titan? How all this not going to work? Like, this seems so uncertain. Oh, I'm so scared and stuff. I, I got to go see my mommies and daddies and stuff. And just acting retarded and everything. And he's even ready to fight, you know, other people because he's just like, I, I, I got to go home. I don't want to do this. And so that sparks fear in a bunch of other people. And everyone else is like, oh, my God, I don't know about this. Like, this seems, like, really, really unsure. I, I don't want to. I don't know. Oh, my God. Like, this, that's not scary. And you freaking see Sasha there, too. Sasha's just like. You know, like, like, and it sucks too. Like Sasha used to, used to seem so beast. Now she's just so scared. I mean, yes, you got that encounter with the freaking Kawi Titans. Like, I don't need you. Like, oh, you gotta be had that. But at the same time, just like, come on, you gotta, you gotta get out of this fearfulness. Like, look at Gene. Gene used to be scared, but he ain't so scared anymore. I'm, I'm just like, come on, come on. Like, everybody's getting scared, and everyone's trying to walk away and everything. And Fallman's like, you ain't going nowhere. You're not supposed to leave. You're gonna die now and stuff. And that's what Commander Pictures is like. I give you permission to leave. I give you the authority to be able to leave, but. Think about your family and stuff like that, and basically, the way he, the way he said it kind of make everyone think about it, especially, like, with particular characters, you end up thinking about his family, thinking about his daughter getting eaten by a titan, and it kind of brings the reason why they were there in the first place. And so that kind of sparks that, you know, they want to they 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 take out these titans, so they kind of turn around in the beast mode, freaking, like, little picture thing right there, and all coming back and everything. I'm like, yeah, that's nice and all, but I'm just tired of these suckers being so scared. Like, stop being so scared. Like, you've already protected Charles once. The funny thing, they already protected it once. You can do it again. You can do this. I mean, you guys are not done yet, of course, but you guys are already, you took out quite a bit of Titans, so like, you can do this. It's just like, it's, I don't know, just, there's too many scared people up in here. They always, they always get doubtful too much, and it's just it's really frustrating. It's just really frustrating. I'm just like, I don't know, but it's always sparked by one person, it seems like, half the time, that's why it happens. But I'm just like, I don't know, I want them to start being more tough like this. They need, they need to be tougher. They need to stop being so scared all the time. They can take these tights down. You can do it! You can do it! But, uh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm, getting too, I'm getting too pumped up now. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, um, one thing I need to mention about this episode is that the animation for this particular episode, there was a lot more still images or freeze frames where, you know, they had like a freeze frame there, but the like the freaking camera pans up a little bit or pans sideways or there's like these um the exciting like bars thing is to make it look like more more energetic like crazy stuff going on you know what i mean like this little hype moments really and there's a there's a lot in this particular episode i noticed too many of them i'm just like it's not necessarily a bad thing but i, I just need to point that out because this episode had a lot of it going on though i will say this there was a part in this episode towards the end where um Aaron, Mikasa, and the rest of them were going to go do their mission and everything. And the animation was just freaking beautiful. They were all pew, and, pew, and stuff like that. that. That crap was kind of cool. Like the animation for that was just spit on. So yeah. Other thing when it comes to this episode was at the end of this episode, freaking well before before I talk about that, is also I need to talk about Aaron and Mikasa for a second, because I'm getting a little like, frustrated with Aaron here. He gets so mad at Mikasa because Mikasa wants to protect him. And Aaron's just like, no, you know, I'm not a child, you know, I'm not your brother and stuff like that. I'm just like, why are you being so mean to her? Like, he, she's like, you don't need to protect, you don't need to protect me and blah blah blah. I'm like, this is messed up because she really, she really cares about you a lot. Like, I wish, I wish Mikasa was just like, sucker. We may not be blood related, but I'm still your freaking sister. We, we, he's still gonna, I'm still gonna protect you regardless of what you say. Like, she needs to just say something to him because I'm tired of just him just saying stuff like that to her. And then Mikasa just, you know, looks down. I'm like, really, really. 
but he cares about you immensely, son, immensely. He it would gladly throw away our life for you. And you just act in this way. I mean, it, just, it, it makes it irks me a little bit. Cause I'm just like, come on, Aaron. This is really now. Come on. But at the end of this episode, they try to go on with the mission. They got the, de the decoy stuff actually working so far. So there's no Titans around. And so Aaron ends up becoming a Titan himself. And yeah, he goes to that boat, beast mode. He's like, ah, and stuff, right? He's supposed to pick up that rock and everything. The rock's right there. But no, he's like, bam, and freaking trying to punch freaking Mikasa. And that's the end of the episode there. And I'm just like, you serious? So you can't control the freaking Titan mode. And now the reason why I think he can't control the Titan mode actually that he's in is mainly this. I think the reason why he can't control it is because of his emotion. He needs to be in a certain state, emotional states, in order to actually control the Titan. The reason why I say this is because when he first controlled that Titan, he was in a state where he really wanted to kill the Titans. Like, he was like, I gotta get out of here, I gotta survive, I, can't, I gotta live, I cannot die here, I gotta kill these Titans. And that's how he was able to probably control it then. Even when he was um, kind of using the power when he blocked that cannon, he was um, in a state of fearfulness and he wanted to live. Again, he wanted to live, that's the same, same emotion that he had. And so then, this particular episode right here, he didn't have that emotion. He, all he had was he wanted to protect everybody and wanted to do this mission properly. He, that's what he wanted to do. He didn't really have that sense of like fearfulness and anger that he always that he had before when he was controlling the Titan. So I think that's part of the reason why he can't control it because of his emotional state. So that's what kind of sucks about it. So I'm, all, I'm thinking that what they're going to have to do is probably um, take out Aaron, you, you know, cut him out of there, and then he probably has to redo his transformation if he's going to be okay, though. I don't know how... How that really works for him because I, I know if every time he goes to like a tight mode, it affects him um, with his body and stuff. He gets more pale and he's you know it's, it, it, it takes a lot out of him. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't think he would wouldn't do anything to him. That'd be kind of weird. They're transforming into a gigantic beast. So I know it's taking a lot out of him for doing this. Or maybe that's another reason. Maybe maybe where he's right to control it because he's already kind of exhausted. That's other reason. Maybe I don't know. I just know this is freaking retard here. You know this is like god dang. So I, I really wonder what's gonna happen. Hopefully. Um, Mikasa did die. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she did, though. But it's just like, they're going to have to freaking take him out now. And this mission's kind of falling apart. So hopefully no one gets killed. But it's just it's not looking too good because they're going to have to try to decoy the best they can while they try to fix Aaron until he can do this because this is just like, this is not good. So I, I can't wait to see the next episode. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think of this week's episode of Attack on Titan. Were you freaking pumped by freaking Pix's uh, speech, man? Were, were you ready? Were you ready? Like, were you ready like me? Let's go and kill some Titans. Let's do this. Come on. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm just saying. But so yeah, leave us like something. Like like this review and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more Attack on Titan reviews from me. So yeah, it's been the Breakmaster, and until then, people, break out.